Heat. Well, we are dealing with the extreme heat and everyone keeps asking me, hey, we're going to have a hot summer because right? I mean, we have June 21 is the summer solstice. Now meteorological summer is June, July and August, but the questions just keep coming for, for me and I've got some answers tonight. So I wanted to I wanted to look up and find some indicators. What are some good indicators of if we could have a, a hot summer? Well, of course, you look at all the meteorological data and I've been doing that. But one of the things you look at when you're trying to determine if you're going to have a hot summer is you look at past hot summers and you also look at patterns. And one of the patterns that we look at right now is La Nina. La Nina not only is in place, that's what takes place out of the Pacific Ocean. That makes us warmer and cooler, uh, warmer and drier than normal here in uh, North Texas. Other parts of the country are cooler and wetter than normal. But for Texas, La Nina, it's strong right now and it looks like it's only strengthening. So that means warmer and drier than normal for the rest of the summer right through this upcoming fall. OK, so that's what we have happening at this point. Then I have to look at a second indicator. When was the the earliest first triple digit day? Well, this year it happened on June 11. The average first triple digit day is July 1. I want you to look at these. These are the the three hottest summers on record. 2011, when was the first triple digit day? Our number one hot summer. That was June 13th. The second hottest summer was the summer of 1980. Our first triple digit day was June 7th. The third hottest summer was 1988. And the look at that, the first triple digit day was May 6th. Our first one was June 11th. So yeah, there's two indicators pointing to it being a pretty hot summer here in North Texas, and I'm talking hotter than normal. What's our third indicator? Above normal triple digit days in the month of June. Right now we've had three. By the end of this 10 day forecast, if my forecast is right, and you know it's gonna be perfect, it will have nine triple digit days by the end of 10 days. So we could certainly have a dozen or more by the end of the month. Now go back to those three hottest summers on record. How many did we have in June? The hottest summer on record. We had seven. What about the second second hottest summer? 1980, we had 13 and in 1998 we had eight. I'm telling you, all signs are pointing right now to a very, very hot summer in North Texas. It's been about 10 years since we've had a really hot summer. All summers are hot, but since we've had a really hot summer, it's been about 10 years. 